Good evening, we're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the evening at rank 81 and 1 cube, which is 1 cube higher than where I ended the last video. I gained 1 cube off video. Gonna continue to play the ongoing deck. It has been very successful so far. And we'll see how it goes. Mercat, I've played this player before. We got Carnage. Stack's gonna go on mid with Mr. Fantastic, so I don't like to play the locations blind, but in this case I will. So I don't have Colossus. I don't have a good way to use Carnage, so I'm just gonna play him as a 2 2 on curve here. Okay, there's the Colossus to neutralize Vormir. Interesting. Okay. Probably tells me he's not interested in playing much to Vormir. If he was planning on doing that, he would have, I think, saved Mr. Fantastic for later. I do not want to lose any of these cards, but I think I want to lose Iron Man least of all, so I'm going to play him. And I'm giving up Claw Spectrum. I'm not happy about that at all. This is a rough Mindscape. Let's see what my opponent's got. My opponent must be destroying the Nova because the game is thinking here. At least I think that's what's going on. Oh, it was the Vormir. The Vormir is a little laggy right now. It has to think about some destruction effects. Okay, so my opponent doesn't care what he's gaining from me. He's sad about losing his hand. Doesn't feel he can beat whatever he's about to give me. Whatever MMR pool I'm in, I, in a half an hour period, 
seem to be facing only three or four opponents and playing the same ones over and over and over. This opponent I have already faced two or three times at least. It gets old not seeing much variety in decks from the opposition. Colossus is really good at Vormir, but the, it's so important to fill the raft first that I'm going to play Colossus to the raft. So my opponent can top me at Vormir simply by moving Nightcrawler there. And Warpath will be pretty good here, so I will play Warpath. Then most likely something like Iron Man Hella, we'll see. My opponent's already used Shang-Chi. Ooh, he got the 14 power vision, so he can move Nightcrawler to Vormir. For four, so let's say I move Nightcrawler, then I'll lose Warpath's buff, so. My play, I think, is Iron Man, Hella. Hella's plus 12. Yeah, I like this, and I think my opponent's going to be confident because of his 14 power vision and his Nightcrawler. I reveal first, so I could have... Uh, when does movement happen in a turn? That happens... My opponent snapped and okay, so yeah, that's predicted. I am Iron Man. Now my opponent's one short. Victory. It was that. One extra power from Colossus on Iron Man. Interesting. It is interesting playing the same opponents over and over and that you get to learn each other's decks and plays and so forth. But man, it's kind of dull seeing the same decks over and over. I'll save Nightcrawler to buff Angela with. This is a new opponent. I don't think I've played him before. Warrior Falls. Warpath is very good there if I draw him. Let's see what expansion gives. Typhoid Mary decreases the power on all my other cards by one. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's interesting.
So I play Iron Man mid here. And probably Spectrum turn six. Let's see if my opponent has Blue Marble or Kazar here. Apparently he likes whatever he's got. He's maxed out now. And I have Spectrum. He could play Kazar and get plus three. Would plus three beat me? I have five, six, seven. I'd be at 20, or four actually. Five, six, I'd be at 19. He'd be at 17. I think I got it. I got it. Poor squirrel tied to America Chavez. So far, so good. don't think when the developers made Warrior Falls, they imagined America Chavez beating up squirrels. If I had drawn Warpath, I would have played Warpath to Warrior Falls. Oh, that ruins my warpath. Been seeing a lot of Central Park tonight. Oh, my opponent has filled up Wakanda. I could just concede that location. I haven't played anything there that can't be moved away. Just stack on Central Park. I mean, his position isn't that strong there, but it could improve with Nightcrawler moving away. Uh, this is the same player as last game. Should I contest that? Yeah. I don't think so. I think we'll just stack on Central Park. Opponents put a lot of resources into Wakanda. And so I think I just take the other two. Kazar. See if my opponent has blue marble before I snap. I am Iron Man. Okay, he does not. So I'm up by 10 on Xandar. Moving Nightcrawler there it provides insurance against Onslaught.
Spectrum gives me 9 on Central Park. It'd be at 18. I like it. Looks good. Okay, this is a new player. I haven't faced him before. Oh, I should have saved Nightcrawler for Angela. That was stupid. I haven't seen Quicksilver for a while. Quicksilver Domino. So my opponent is playing a higher curve deck. Boy, I think I might need to play Colossus to Vormir here. I would like to play it to Angela's location, but I'm going to want to play more cards. I think. Maybe I just play Captain America Warpath to the Bifrost and don't worry anymore about it. My opponent hasn't played anything to Vormir, so if he wants to do so on turn 5, I think I'm okay with that. Jubilee. What do we got from Jubilee? Enchantress? Well, that's a bad draw for me, but at least it's revealed before my warpath. So that location's full now. Still move Nightcrawler there. Vision. Okay, Iron Man should get the win. If I move Nightcrawler away, I could move Nightcrawler to Shadowlands, right? I would lose the four on Warpath. But I'll be up by four still. Okay, my opponent retreated. Victory. I actually don't think my position was that good. Would have had one, two, three, four, five, ten at Bifrost easily topped. Only four at Shadowlands. I wasn't planning on snapping for sure. Okay, Sinister London. Sinister London's not very good with Warpath usually, but it's so important to play cards there that I don't really mind. So we got multiple Nightcrawlers. Does this Vormir effect happen with the first copy you add there? I don't think so, because it's the first card you play here. I 
danger room. I will see how kind Sinister London is today. Pretty good. Danger room zaps strange. I don't think I really want to play Angela to Sinister London. Do want to play Claw and Spectrum there. So this play is going to be. Angela Nightcrawler. Even though I don't get the buff on Angela, I get the extra two power from Nightcrawler and I get additional flexibility. my plays. See what my opponent plays. I hope the copy doesn't go to danger room. Eight power cloak. Did go to danger room. Opponent snaps. Well, I'm going to top him at Danger Room. Adding a lot of power. My opponent's board is full. I kind of like my position here. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe I'm just donating cubes here. No, nope, definitely not. Well, after a few sessions of just breaking even, things are going better now. Or breaking even or making small progress. Getting some good spectrum plays. Ongoing effects are doubled. I would love to draw a two drop here. Thank you. Colossus would have been perfect, but Lizard is good. Okay, it's Vibranium Mines. Interesting that my opponent played Cloak. He doesn't have anything out that. Is he just doing that to make sure that he wins? Formir? Oh, he didn't move anything there. Okay. I like my plays a lot here. 
going to snap on this. So let's say my opponent plays Heimdall. Doesn't save him. Okay. Hoping to draw Colossus once again. On turn five, all cards must be played here, so let's stack up on location on the right, even though it's unrevealed. Let's see what it is. When a card moves here, destroy it. That's fine. Would love to draw a warpath in this spot. But I'd settle for pretty much any three three drop. Okay, lizard is fine. Go lizard, ant man. Okay, my opponent steals Spectrum. That would buff his Lizard. Is Warpath better than Iron Man here on Avengers Compound? I think so. Vision. Be up by nine on Avengers Compound. It's an okay position. I have no idea what type of deck my opponent is playing. He could have anything here. So I'm not going to snap. the game thinking. Yeah, it's got to think when it destroys something with Vormir. Okay, so it actually comes down to differential and I got it. I didn't predict a dino deck. I really had no idea what my opponent was playing there. Which is why I could not snap. It would have been gambling. And then I don't have any objection to gambling, but I'm looking for better spots than to get my cubes in the middle, so to speak, than a situation where I have no idea what's coming. And there are conceivably a few cards which could have beat me. Please, Colossus. Shang-Chi? No. I feel like Sakaar likes playing Shang-Chi. Colossus is really good at negative zone and Vormir. But I need to free up Vormir, I think. Interesting that my opponent didn't play Wolverine to Vormir.
Strong guy. Got two cards in hand. Strong guy's likely to go off. So probably we'll need Iron Man at Sakaar. I like my position here. Spectrum will give me plus 8 at Sakaar, plus a bunch at Vormir. I like it. Feels like this is the deck to take to infinite. I've been playing it since like 52, I think. Maybe 48, something like that. And we're up into the 80s now, and it's still winning. There's been some periods of grind, but this deck feels like the one to go all the way. There's been no real downswings, no big ones anyway. I think the most I've dropped is one rank. Ooh, Murder World with Nova. That's good for my opponent. important to win Baxter building. If it didn't have that plus three power at other locations, I'd probably just concede it to my opponent. Okay, so it looks like he's playing Dino. If he plays a Dino on five, I'll know I'm in trouble. I'll still have Shang-Chi, but I don't know if I win it if my opponent plays Dino here. Okay, so he's going to play a Dino on six, too. And I can gain, so his dino's at 17, it'll be at 15 when he plays the other one. I can kill this, he'll play the other one to Vormir. If he doesn't play the second one to Baxter, I'll top him at Murder World. If he does play the second one to, at Baxter, I'll top him by killing both with Shang-Chi. So I'm going to snap here. Unless he plays Dino and a one-drop to Murder World. He plays Dino to Vormir and a one-drop to Murder World. Ooh, armor. Good play. You got me. Save the armor for turn six. Good play. Though I am surprised he did not snap there. And thankful because I definitely would have lost eight cubes on that one. Most opponents don't predict the turn six Chang Chi, and I would never take into account the turn six armor. My opponent's got the turn six armor to protect the dino, then I lose.
So Clintar says merge your cards into a symbiote. Colossus can't be destroyed or moved, but he can be merged, right? I think so. So he's got three power, play claw here, dino, so I guess my play is Shang-Chi and Nightcrawler to Kamartage I believe. No warpath on the table. No. So I've got it. Shang-Chi cost me four cubes. Well, probably cost me three cubes because I could have surrendered to the dino for one cube since my opponent didn't snap. So he cost me three cubes, then he gains me four. So is my opponent going to stack on Hala? That would be fine. Very high cost hand here. So I drew Warpath. So I can likely win Hala. Ah, well, I still want to get the warpath down there. Here I think I want Claw on Ruins. Good pressure, Clintar, but I don't think six is going to be enough there. Okay, so my opponent's got a stack for Onslaught, so I need to calculate how much Onslaught's going to do here. going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It'll be a 24. What if I just went Nightcrawler Spectrum? He's going to get plus 6 there. He'll be at 17. I'll be at 19. I'm going to let it run. I'm curious. Oh, he played a bundle of cards everywhere. So what happens here? 
Nothing good for me, I don't think. Yeah, I could have gotten away from that one for one cube loss. Maybe he did have the onslaught and just chose not to play it. He was stacking up his ongoing effects as if he did. Yeah, could have gotten away from that one pretty easily. I kind of donated three cubes there. if he clones Squirrel Girl. He'll clog up the board a lot. Okay, so he's gonna have another copy of Electra. Captain America, and I'll play Nightcrawler. I know it's going to get sapped by Electra, but I don't think my opponent's going to want to play another Electra to Cloning Vats. We're on turn five now. I like my position. My opponent's board is full of low cost things. I am Iron Man. I have a lot of options. So I'm up by nine. I'm insured against Blue Marvel. Can just go. Warpath, I'll be up by 19. Colossus. Actually, I'll be up at 9, 10, 11, 23. I'll be up by 21. Yeah, I like it. Maybe I should have taken into account Dino, but in a zoo deck, I wasn't really considering it a possibility. Victory. Would Dino have beaten me? He had five cards in hand? No, Dino wouldn't have beaten me. Dino would have been 13 power. So nine more, no problem. Still, maybe the Colossus should have gone to cloning vets. So. That is where we'll end the video. Solid progress in this one. And thank you for watching.